Today, I'm going to break down exactly what you should know and learn when starting in IT support, help desk or desktop support, and how to use those skills to turn your entry level job into a high paying career path. You don't need to master everything, but you do need the right blueprint. But here's what most videos won't tell you. Knowing what to learn isn't enough. You need to know how it all connects in the real world under pressure at 2 a.m. when a user's laptop won't boot before a meeting with the CEO. Um, that's why this isn't just a checklist. This is a system, a roadmap, and it starts with this. Number one, know the operating systems cold. Your users will run Windows, Mac OS, Linux, iOS, Android, and they'll expect you to know it all. You don't have to be a genius, but you should be able to navigate settings, troubleshoot user issues, and perform tasks like joining a domain, adding users, managing permissions, and tweaking performance settings. Start with Windows 10 and 11. They are everywhere. Learn macOS basics, especially user profiles and system preferences. Know how to reset passwords, unlock accounts, and remote into a machine. Bonus points, if you have touched Linux, even just Ubuntu, it'll come up eventually, but that's just the beginning. Number two, networking skills are non-negotiable. If you don't understand how a computer talks to the network, you can't fix it when it breaks. Learn what IP addresses are, know how to check a user's connectivity using ping, IP config, or uh, trace route commands. Understand DNS, DHCP, and the difference between LAN and WAN. What happens when a user can't access a network share? You check their IP, their gateway, their DNS, and their cable. What if a printer won't connect? Is it on the same subnet? Can you ping it? Networking is your flashlight in the dark. The more fluent you are, the faster you troubleshoot. And it gets even crazier. Hey, sorry for interrupting your video, but I wanted to know, are you interested in building a career in ethical hacking? We created Learn Ethical Hacking from Scratch course just for you, and it's the perfect way to get started. In this course, you will learn how ethical hackers find vulnerabilities in your system, networks, and applications. You will learn hands-on skills like penetration testing, exploiting the weakness in a system, and all the tools that hackers use. You will also learn how to stay on the right side of the law. Cybersecurity is one of the fastest growing industries in the world, and hackers are high in demand. The global cybersecurity market is expected to reach $400 billion by 2028. There's never been a better time for you to jump in. Ethical hackers and from 90,000 US dollars to 120,000 US dollars annually. Experts in this field make even more. So are you ready to kickstart your journey into ethical hacking? This course is your key to mastering hacking. We have placed the link to this course in the description. Enroll today and get started on a lucrative career path. Now back to the video. Number three, learn Active Directory. This is your control panel for user identity, access, and systems. Most companies rely on AD to manage their users, groups, and devices. You'll use it to reset passwords, unlock accounts, add computers to domains, and apply group policies. Learn how organizational units, also called as OUs, how they work, and understand what group policy objects or GPUs can control. Can you prevent USB devices from being used company-wide? Yep, with the GPO. Can you roll out a printer to 200 users at once? You bet. Mastering AD makes you look like a wizard to end users. Number four, command line is power. While others fumble through menus, pros use the terminal. 
Learn Windows Command Prompt and PowerShell. Start with basics like ping, ipconfig, netstat, nslookup, netuse. Then level up with PowerShell. Get processes, stop services, run scripts remotely. Uh, if you're on Linux, get comfy with Bash. Knowing how to automate even a few repetitive tasks gives you a superpower. So number five, understand virtualization and cloud. The world is moving fast. Companies run critical apps in VMware, Hyper-V, or Proxmox. You should know how to create snapshot and manage VMs. Then there is the cloud. AWS, Azure, GCP, learn what EC2, IAM, and S3 are. Understand what it means to spin up a cloud server or manage remote backups. You don't need to be cloud certified today, but even basic familiarity makes you valuable especially as remote work and hybrid infrastructure become the norm. Number six, scripting skills. Don't be afraid about that. Don't run from scripting. Embrace it. Start it with batch files or PowerShell on Windows. On macOS or Linux, try bash. Automate basic things like software installations or drive mapping. Eventually, scripting helps you automate user onboarding, schedule reports, or backups. It's not just about being faster, it's about being scalable. Number seven, backup and recovery. Backups are your safety net. You need to know how to create, schedule, and test them. Learn tools like Acronis, Macrium Reflect, or Windows File History. Practice restoring both single files and full systems and always have a basic disaster recovery plan. Like what if a system crashes or ransomware hits? What are you going to do then? So be the person who already has a recovery plan ready. Number eight, storage basics. You don't need to be a storage engineer but you should understand how data is stored and accessed. Get familiar with external drives, NAS devices like Synology, or cloud storage options. Know what RAID is and how to handle a failed disk. Please do understand performance, capacity planning, and how storage connects to backups and system speed. Number nine, security mindset. Password resets are easy, but can you spot phishing? Can you identify if a user's machine is infected? Can you create a secure baseline for new machines? Security isn't just about, you know, it's not just for the cyber guys. It's part of your job from day one. Learn about antivirus, endpoint protection, firewalls, and least privilege. Understand how to encrypt drives, how to spot rogue devices on the network and how to escalate incidents fast. But we are still not done. Number 10, soft skills make you 10x more valuable. You're not just fixing computers, you're dealing with people, often under stress. Can you explain a technical fix without jargon? Can you stay calm when someone's yelling because they missed a deadline? Your ability to communicate, manage expectations and de-escalate will make or break your reputation. And if you want to grow into management or higher roles, it starts here. Number 11, documentation saves you. Always document, create run books, save known issues and fixes, use ticketing system properly. Good documentation means you're not solving the same issue 10 times. It also shows leadership that you're organized, reliable and thinking ahead. Number 12, learn the tools of the trade. Remote desktop tools like AnyDesk, TeamViewer, RDP, ticketing systems like uh, Jira, Zendesk, uh, inventory management like Lawn Sweeper, Spiceworks, and endpoint management system platforms like Intune, JAMF, or PDQ Deploy. Master the tools that your team uses or, you know, you can even suggest better ones to your team. Number 13, community is power. Don't isolate yourself, follow IT YouTubers, join subreddits like r slash system admin or r slash IT career questions on Reddit. 
uh, follow blogs, join discords, ask questions, offer help. This is where you grow and where the jobs are hiding. Number 14, build your portfolio. Yes, even in IT support, document what you have learned, create a GitHub repo with PowerShell scripts, post screenshots of your lab setup on LinkedIn, write a blog post on how you fixed the, that weird printer issue. You're not just learning, you are showing and hiring managers. Love that. So here's a quick reminder. Everyone starts somewhere. Maybe you are coming from retail. Maybe you're self-taught. Maybe you just passed your first comp TIA exam. The truth is, if you commit to learning, if you build your skill stack brick by brick, you will go far. So if you got value out of this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more content like this, and smash the bell icon so you don't miss the next episode. Got a question or want help with your IT journey? Drop in the comments. Let's build a smarter, stronger IT future together.